Okay, you just put your doors on and everything's great. You've got your hinges done and you go to shut the door. And well, this happens. So it took a really long time for that door to shut. Look at that thing. So that's kind of a little bit crazy, right? Um, so what do we do? What do you do? Your, your customer wants soft close hinges and you're, you're like, you know, well, I'm giving them soft close hinges, but it's too much. The door just won't shut. And this is actually a fairly heavy door, but you feel like the door shuts a little too slow and possibly I agree. So let's think about what we have. The options are, there's two options. One is you can replace your hinge. Uh, you can actually use a non soft close hinge with your soft close up there. So then you just have one soft close hinge. That's great. And you know what? At the end of the day, that will probably save money because they're a couple bucks less to get the non soft close than they are the soft close. But my issue is that down the road, you're going to have half your cabinets done with soft close, half of them, half your doors are going to be soft close, half of them are going to be non soft close. Um, it's going to get a little crazy. Um, your finishers aren't going to love it because they're not going to know which, you know, area to put them on. Perhaps uh, it's going to get confusing. And, um, you know, and honestly, it is going to be confusing because when you put them on, I like to put my soft close features on the top versus on the bottom for lower cabinets. For upper cabinets, I reverse it. I put it on, on the bottom and um, the regulars at the top. So it depends on the, your situation or what door, um, you know, how, how big your doors are. But you could also have three or four hinges on a really big pantry door. So what do you do there? Um, here's the better suggestion. Keep all of them soft close and use the switch on the hinge to shut them off. This is a little known secret. I don't know if it's a secret, but it's a little known thing. I don't know. It's like your iPhone. It can do so many things you don't even know about or your, um, your laptop, your MacBook. It can do so much stuff that you didn't even know about. Well, I'm here to show you what you can do with your hinges. Simply put, you're going to take this guy right there and you're going to push that little switch right there. So that's it right there. I just push that in. And now you see this part here, that's your soft close. So now go ahead and shut this door. It's still going to take forever, so I'm going to help it along. I'm just going to push it. Now, if you heard that little click, click, click sound, that was actually the soft close mechanism. And look at that. Now your soft close mechanism is gone. It's still there at the top, but your bottom one's gone. How is that possible? Now let's see how the door shuts. That's much better. That is way better than the alternative. So let me slam them again. Both of them are going to be shut at the same time as much as possible. And let's see which one closes first. I can't even. <laughs> okay, so there's no contest, but you still get the Ability for it to be soft close, you can see it's perfect. Now, if you decide, hey, you know what? Maybe my kids are slamming it a little too tight. I can go ahead and I can flip this switch again, slide it back. Did you see that? That soft close mechanism just came back into action. So all your hinges do that with, this one I'm gonna do it because there's no way these doors are gonna be um, dual soft close. I'm gonna go ahead and do it on this one as well, and then the other one as well. So that's definitely the way to go. 
it's just a little tip i just thought i'd show you so if you're having an issue with soft close features now i'm not sure if all soft close all i know is i use the um the um in fact i have a link for them at the end the description the bottom of the the um description and the links um, those are the kind of hinges that i use but um i don't know if all of them have them but check yours out and see if they do if not maybe you want to step up with these they're phenomenal all right thanks again thumbs up and um, hit the bell for notifications for all my future videos and subscribe thank you so much bye bye